Well, good morning guys. It's gonna be a busy day today. My head's not screwed up. I almost forgot my list of things to do. Can't be doing that now. There's, just, there's so much to do. So... Yeah, I guess better get started. I need coffee. Yeah, I gotta let all the cats out. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Morning, buddy. Hey, Adrian. How you doing? Okay. Bleeding at all? Yeah, last night when I got home, um, there was some orange cat. I uh, got into a fight with Adrian. It uh, knocked him down, and it was on top of him, biting him and stuff. So I don't, I don't know if uh, if he's hurt or, or anything. Like he's got pretty thick fur, so it'd be hard for the cat to bite him. I don't know, maybe. But um, that cat is very lucky that it was fast. Faster than me. Hi, Riley. Hello. Okay, well, I just finished taking care of a bunch of stuff and eating and stuff. So now, now it's crunch time. I really got to get hammered on this. I have four, five, I think five weeks to get this forerunner driving. Yeah, I'm a little bit stressed out. <laughs> yeah, so now, ah, oh crap. Um, I gotta measure the front two, or the number two body pucks, and figure out how much I need to cut off them. Um, once I get that done, I can bolt the body down for good. Once that's done, um, well, I'm gonna put my hydraulic steering on. Uh, install the ram and everything as much as I can. I can get the steering box mounted. Then I need to cut the floor. I need to cut the floor for all the shifters and everything because... Is there something falling on me? Ah, oh, son of a Spider on me. Where'd you go? Oh, damn it, I hate spiders. Yeah, so I need to cut a hole. I need to cut a bigger hole for the the stick shift. I need to cut it. Cut a couple other holes for the two transfer case shifters. So I get all that to do. Um, I can't install the motor. Not until I get uh, freaking birds. Sons of I need polyurethane motor mounts because um, those bushings that I'm using for the transfer cases, they're polyurethane. If I use polyurethane back there and rubber up here, the rubber is a lot softer than polyurethane, so the engine will twist and the transfer cases won't. So something's gonna break and I don't want that to happen. So I need everything to be the same same kind of strength, so polyurethane motor mounts is what I need. And they're about $108. So, I need that, I need a flat pitman arm. So, I got a little, a little bit of stuff to do still. I need to finish welding these guys, but I can't do that until I get uh, the axle and leave springs out of that truck so that I can make sure that these shock towers are in the right spot. <laughs> and you guys wonder why I hate spiders? Look how friggin creepy that thing is. It's all yellow and it, it like friggin caught a fly and it's like biting its face off. Actually it's injecting it with its venom but uh, damn that is creepy. Man, I hate spiders. Huh. 
How did it even catch? Oh, it's injecting the fly right into its back. That'd be that would be horrible. That's got to be the worst way to die. I really don't like spiders. Have a nice day. Well, I got the steering box all mounted now. Um, I have to make another half inch nut for that. What I did before is I just took a 17 mil nut and I uh, tapped the threads out to half inch fine threads. So I'll be doing that again. But uh, yeah, here's where my problem lies. I don't like that. I don't know if it'll hold pressure still. It should. It should, but I don't know. And uh, these hoses were, I think, three or five weeks wait. Because I got them for, they were like $7 each. But I had to order them off of um, some site in the US. Uh, to get one of these made locally, it'll be like 40 bucks. So. Yeah, but uh, yeah, other than that, she's doing pretty good, making decent progress. I just got all the crap from here cleaned up. That's all that crap down there. Um, yeah, I'm really kind of <clears throat> not looking forward to wiring all this again. Like I got to strip Beastie over there and take the wire harness out and then transfer it in here and then wire it all up together and uh, it's a huge huge pro process uh, progress got a lot of progress to make <laughs> uh, and then I gotta do all the body work damn it well buddy just picked up his truck it's sweet sounding it sounded pretty decent when he was driving away it sounds really really good from a distance it doesn't sound so good up close because it's pretty loud so I'm gonna go uh, Look into a muffler for him because he needs he needs he doesn't want to get pulled over or anything so I'll have to go find one for him but that won't be a big deal um, yeah thank you anyways um, I need to get going here pretty quick I gotta go I gotta go see grandma and drop off some more stuff for her and um, yeah get a coffee. Need my fix. Well, I just got back um, from visiting Grandma. She's doing alright. They moved her out of uh, the ICU. Um, but she's got pneumonia a little bit, which sucks. It's pretty bad. You're not supposed to be outside. What are you eating? Get that out of your mouth. Ah, get off me. Riley, come on. Let's go inside. I don't know how long she's been out for. I propped that up. Keep her in, but she knocked it down. Anyways, um, yeah, Grandma's doing, she's doing all right. They want to keep her until Monday, I think. Um, but they have everything under control so far, so that's, that's good. I'm tired. I guess the birds are at it again. Building their nest, or they shouldn't be building a nest. Beg my pardon. Uh, last time, <coughs> last time they built their nest there, um, the babies got old enough to almost fly, and then uh, they all tried leaving the nest. And there's a big crow that lives over in one of those trees over there, and he just kept scooping them up. Like he got all three of them. It was really really sad. I kept trying to put one back in the nest because it kept falling down on the ground and stuff but um, I'd put it in the nest and it'd jump out five seconds later so there's nothing I could do. It sucked. Well I guess I should get to work. I gotta cut these body mounts uh, just above the black tape and then uh, the body lift will be complete. <laughs> Angle grinder made short work of that. Not bad. There's a little bit of cleanup on it, but uh, yeah, Bob's your uncle.
It smells like popcorn. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It smells like uh, it smells like a stove top popcorn if you burn it. <laughs> All right, I just got them done. So uh, it's getting a bit dark. Uh, Un momento. Ah, uh, yeah. See if they'll fit now. I might not even need to jack up the truck. Well, the driver's side one fit perfect. Uh, the passenger side one's got a little gap to it, but you know what? I got those huge washers, so uh, that's not a big deal. Where'd they go? Which way did they go? I think I got them right here. These guys. So, yeah, good to go. Son of a. You guys know how much I hate spiders. Get out of my wiring, you God, I hate spiders. It'll Okay, I need to reposition that mount. And we're good. Nice! Okay, so that's, uh, what, nine out of 10 done now? I'm just gonna shift over to the other side, Bob's your uncle. All right, so I got that one in too. Next thing I gotta do is connect the steering linkage. I have to modify it though, I have to make it longer. Cause the stock one, uh, uh, apologize, comes to about there or something. Okay, well I got the body lift installed, now I just have to tighten all the bolts down. Um, I'm tired. Um, yeah, I gotta. Next thing I do is gotta be probably the steering. I got to extend that steering. Uh, <laughs> so tired. I gotta install the steering linkage thing. Center link? That doesn't sound right. Intermediate shaft? Something like that. One of those technical terms. I've got to lengthen that and install it. And then, um, yeah, I don't think I have too much else to do before I need to start taking Beastie apart. So that's going to be a sad day. But, uh, yeah, it's for the greater good. Apologize. You've been a very good truck. And the whites. It's time for bed, so I'm going to shut down for a night and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Take care.